Hey Cryptos, my name is Trix and in today's video I want to show you the difference between the stop limit order and the OCO order on Bitrix. So you can have an idea on which one you should use if you are actively trading on this platform. Let's get started. If you watched my previous video about how to use the different order types on Bitrix, I would like to apologize to you because I made a mistake when I was explaining the stop limit by order. So here is what I've said. In this case, I have put a buy order at 2550 satoshis and a stop loss at 2264 satoshis. So if the price continues to fall and reach 2550 satoshis, my buy order will be filled. However, if the trade goes against me and the price continues to drop to 2264 satoshis, the system will automatically sell this position at this level, avoiding me any further losses. Okay, just ignore that because this is not how it works. For the rest of the video, it's okay, everything is correct, but for the part of the stop limit by order, I confused one order with another, and I had a lot of orders going on and some of them got filled and others didn't and I made a mistake. But anyway, I'm gonna show you really how it works. The first thing you need to understand is that the stop limit order on Bitrix works quite differently from other crypto exchanges. Here's what I mean. Usually, you're gonna find a limit order form like this one and a stop order form which is separate from the limit order form. But on Bitrix, you have a stop order and a limit order combined on the same form. So first of all, we need to understand what a stop order is and then what a limit order is and then we will see how they work together. Inside the stop limit order form, you have two boxes which will be used to place your orders. The first box is a stop order and the second box is a limit order. Then you have the quantity and the total plus fee. Let's say I want to buy Bitcoin at $17,500 using the stop buy order. Here you have two options if price rises to and if price drops too. So I'm gonna select the second option if price drops too because I want to buy when the price starts moving down. What a stop buy order will basically do is start buying as soon as the price crosses $17,500. It may also buy below $17,500. So if a seller puts a sell order at $17,500, my stop buy order would be filled. On the other hand, if no one is selling at $17,500, the system will search for another sell order below my stop buy order and fill it at the next available price. So if a seller puts a sell order at $17,400 below my stop buy order, and no one is selling at $17,500, my buy order would be filled at $17,400. In other words, a stop buy order will instruct the system to start buying as soon as the price crosses $17,500. And if no one is selling at this price, the system will find another order below $17,500 and fill my stop buy order. Now let's see how the limit order works. So if I put a buy order at $17,500, I will basically tell the system to buy only at $17,500. No more, no less. So if no one is selling at $17,500, my limit by order won't be filled. Okay, now let's see how they work together. So I'm gonna place a stop by order at $18,000. And I'm gonna put a limit by order 
at $17,500. And I'm gonna select if price drops too. Here, I am basically telling the system that I want to buy as soon as the price crosses $18,000. But I am also telling the system that I don't want to buy below $17,500, where my limit order is located. So if the price drops down and crosses $18,000, the system will search for a sell order in this area to fill my buy order. It could be $18,000, $17,900, $17,800, whatever the price it might be, it has to be in this area. And if the price continues to move down, and for whatever reason my buy order isn't filled yet, and the price moves below $17,500, my buy order won't be filled because I told the system that $17,500 is my limit. I don't want to buy below this level. If you have any questions, comment below and I will do my best to answer all of your questions. We've seen how to buy using the stop limit order on the downside. Now let's see how we can buy if the price starts moving up and we want to catch the trend. So if we want to buy on the way up, all we need to do is to select if price rises to. So let's say I want to buy Bitcoin Cash at $300. So I'm going to place a stop buy order at $300. And I'm going to select if price rises too. Then I'm going to tell the system that I don't want to buy above $315. So what I'm going to do is put a limit buy order at $315. And it works basically the same. If the price rises and crosses $300, it will basically tell the system to buy anywhere between my stop buy order at $300 and my limit order at $315. Very simple, right? And if no one is selling between my stop buy order and my limit order, nothing is going to happen. My buy order won't be filled. And if the price moves quickly and spikes up above my limit buy order, my buy order won't be filled because I told the system that my limit is $315. Above that price, I don't want to buy. This scenario is very rare, but sometimes it could happen. If you are a seller, the process is the same. If you want to sell on the way up, you're gonna need to choose if price rises too. Then, set a price for your stop sell order, let's say $300, and then set a price for your limit order. Let's say $315. And that's pretty much it. The system will trigger a sell order between your stop sell order and your limit order. If you want to sell on the downside, you want to go short, you're gonna need to select if price drops too. Then set a price for your stop sell order let's say $250 and then set a price for your limit order let's say around $240 the process is the same it's gonna trigger a sell order between your stop sell order and your limit order and that's pretty much it. This is how the limit order form works. Let's move on to the OCO order. OCO stands for one order cancels the other. I have already explained the mechanics of the OCO order in my previous video about the different order types on Bitrix. If you haven't watched it yet and you want to know how the OCO order form works, you can find the video here or in the description below. Basically, the OCO order form will allow you to place a limit order and a stop loss at the same time. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how I use the OCO order. 
I usually use the OCO order to sell my positions. Why? Because I can set a profit target and a stop loss and I, I can just walk away from my computer and let the system do the work for me. For instance, yesterday when I was sleeping, one of my positions was sold with a profit. See this yellow arrow over here? That was a sell order and it was filled when I was asleep. So I'm gonna place a sell order with a stop loss to show you how it works from the seller side. So this is the Bitcoin ARC pair on the 4 hour chart and I want to sell ARC for Bitcoin. So inside the OCO order form we have the first box which represents the limit sell order and the second box is where we're gonna set our stop loss and the third box represents the quantity for each order. So I'm going to set my profit target at 2,400 satoshis. I'm going to click here and I'm going to select 2,400 satoshis. Then I'm going to set my stop loss at 1,800 satoshis. I'm going to click here, select the price from the chart and adjust the price at 1,800 satoshis. Then I'm going to select the quantity I want to sell, let's say 50%. Um, then I'm going to click on place sell order and confirm sell order. Remember that one of these orders is going to cancel the other. If the price rises to my profit target at 2,400 satoshis, my sell order will be filled and I will take my profits and my stop loss will be cancelled. On the other hand, if the trade goes against me and the price drops down and reaches my stop loss, the system will sell my position at 1,800 satoshis and cancel my limit order at the same time. And I will cut my losses at this level. As you can see on the screen, the trade went well and the price has moved up and reached my profit target at 2,400 satoshis and my sell order was filled and my stop loss was cancelled. See this little arrow over here? That was my sell order and it was filled. If you want to see more details about your order, you just need to click on orders on the top menu and you have your open orders and your open conditional orders and if you scroll down you have your order history and as you can see the order was closed at 1 a.m. when I was sleeping and it was entirely filled at 2400 satoshis and here you have the total amount of Bitcoin I have received from that trade. The question is which order form should you use to place your orders? The stop limit or the OCO order? I personally use both of them. Here's what I mean. If I want to enter the market and buy at a specific price, I use the stop limit order. After that, if my order gets filled, I use the OCO order form to sell my position. Because I can set my profit target and my stop loss and I can just walk away from my computer and do other things. So I'm going to show you a quick example on how to use the stop limit by order to enter the market. So this is the Bitcoin coin pair on the daily chart. And I want to enter the market at this support area between 62,000 satoshis and 56,000 satoshis. So first of all, I'm going to set a price for my stop by order. I'm going to choose a price from the chart and adjust the price to 62,815 satoshis. I'm going to select if price drops to because I want to buy on the way down then I'm going to select the price for my limit order. 
I'm going to select the price from the chart, click here, and click on the chart. Let's say 56,721 Satoshis. Then I'm going to select the amount of Bitcoin I want to spend on this transaction 0.002 then I'm gonna click on place by order and confirm by order and that's basically how I use the stop limit order if my order gets filled I will use the OCO order form to sell my position leave me your comments below if you have any questions if you want to learn how to trade the crypto market, check out my free trading class. You will find the strategy I have been using to make money from the crypto market. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell icon and smash that like button to support the channel. Thanks again and as always, stay peace. Ciao.